If you're running an IT organization today, you live in really interesting times. There's a number of very discontinuous transitions that you have to manage through. Right? You have your existing IT infrastructure that's running on premise. Your developers are playing around with next generation technologies like containers, and NSX will be with you for the journey. You may go to public clouds. We hope you come to vCloud Air, but we've heard from some of you that you're into other public clouds, and NSX will support that as well. And then if you look to it, Sanjay Poonen, the demo that he did in his uh, keynote session, he showed you how you can use your end users, for example, running on virtual desktops, and integrate them with NSX, have them as endpoints, and manage their security, where you can define firewall rules, for example, based on your Active Directory entries, right? How we can, how they're first class citizens sort of in this network of the future. And then we also have vCloud Air, where you can take your mobile devices and suddenly make rules that are based on geography. You know, where are people accessing things from? What kind of device are they accessing the data from? And you can, you can apply those. So whatever the endpoint is, NSX is there for you. And like today, NSX will provide you with the speed you need through automation, so you don't have to configure this manually. It will provide you with the agility to change to the constantly upcoming and new requests from both the application teams and your end users. And it will provide you with the security and the peace of mind that you're running a secure network and that you're in compliance with the catalog for compliance requirements that you have. And that is the future of NSX. Thank you. <laughs> oh, actually, hold, wait, stop, stop, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's another call coming in. Hey, Guido, this is Pat. Uh, th that application is just going crazy. We need 500 additional servers distributed over all regions, all secured by NSX. They have to be up and running in the next five minutes. Thanks. Bye. There's only one way we can do this. And this is by combining everything we've seen today. So we're going to take containers, multiple public clouds, and NSX, and we're going to spin up 500 containers. Do it. And here we go. So we just kicked off a scheduler that will spin up 500 web servers running in containers across public and private infrastructure, AWS, Rackspace, and our on-prem private cloud across seven data centers, three continents. Wow. So, so can you get a little more detail? How do we do this? So we, we have container hosts in all of these clouds? Yep. Across, across uh, three different continents on seven data centers. And, and then we have a container scheduler that basically now these, these pre-allocated container hosts just fires up these containers very, very rapidly. And as every container spins up, just like in the Amazon example, it phones home to NSX, and we then plug it in an NSX virtual switch that originally was just for on-premise, um, so that all the networking settings for these containers are still the same that they were before. So how are we doing port count here? So the port count is going up. You can see that. The, 57, as the, as the 63, all right. Okay. As the containers are being spun up on these different regions, they're being wired by NSX. So all the networking and all the security is still there with NSX, okay? And all the firewalling works just like Maybe. before. I gotta keep my job because, you know, once I'm off stage, I can call Pat and tell him those 500 web servers, they're all running across the world. <laughs>